what we do in basic sciences is attempt to understand how life works normally so we can appreciate what's going wrong in disease. It's through science that we invent new drugs. It's through science that we invent new ways to diagnose disease. It's through science that we actually recognize brand new diseases that we didn't even know had existed before. To me, people who do basic science are interested in a certain type of question. And that question is really, how do things work? Why do certain things happen in our body the way that they do? How did we get here? How did we evolve? We try to understand how things work. Because once we understand how things work, then we can use that knowledge to fix things when they fail to work. Basic research uh, is completely unpredictable, but extraordinarily important. It is, you know, it's the foundation, it's the startup factory of the discoveries that will save people's lives. The amazing thing about being at the Hutch is science always comes first. You're basically uh, charting new courses. You're, you're, you're really at the edge of what is possible. It's a place where the, the passion that people have for their work is a real driver for wanting to come and do the best you can every single morning. Right down the hall from us, we have clinicians who are working with cancer patients every single day. And it, all it does is take a walk across a sky bridge. And we can set up collaborations and bring our expertise and our tools to help solve problems that they know of from the patients that they work of that we don't necessarily understand as a basic scientist. The possible synergy is really amazing. I have complete faith that what I do now will someday lead to important advances that I cannot even imagine now. So basic science has a place in laying the foundation for therapies that may not happen for 10, 20 years. And for personal reasons, I have a very strong desire to see that played out while I'm still breathing. We, one of my long-term staff scientists, who was an x-ray crystallographer, actually died of a glioblastoma. She would go in the morning and get gamma knife therapy, which is a, a form of x-ray therapy, and she would come in and be doing x-ray crystallography in the laboratory, and her line was always, I know what a protein crystal feels like now. You know, I had a daughter who passed away when she was one, and that should never happen to anybody. Life can be short, and that was a motivator. Make a difference now. Even though, as a scientist, I understand that one out of four of us will get cancer, I never imagined that it would occur to my dad. And my life changed forever. And then my dad received state-of-the-art treatment from Fred Hutch and the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. And I can see his cancer shrinking by day. And this is the most miraculous experience that I have had in my life. I basically made a complete change when I had this personal crisis, and it was to, um, I want to know why people die, literally. I literally went to friends of mine who work in ERs at Harborview and wherever else and said, what do you write in the box, cause of death? I want to study that and stop that from happening. And that's where this has come from. That's what I do. You never know when you will need Hutch's research, just like I did not know that my dad's life relied on Hutch's clinical trial. That's the sort of real take-home lesson if you actually look at all of the cancer therapies that are in the clinic today, is that they all started off with a basic sciences discovery made by scientists who were motivated primarily by the biology of the uh, process rather than by the medical uh, relevance of that process. Many of these ideas, however, may be too creative to be able to successfully get government funding because they're considered too risky. That's exactly where private funding can come in. Private funding is the seed funding that allows us to pursue the crazy ideas that we couldn't get funded through more conventional sources. Private funding allows us to lay the groundwork to pursue new ideas that could help people in the future. Your support for the Fred Hutch is like you being a venture capitalist for life-saving uh, cures that are going to be manifest 20 years from now. In terms of bang for the buck investment, basic science, it may take years or even decades to pay off. But in general, that payoff has been greater per dollar than almost any other human endeavor. It's not just about the Fred Hutch. And it's not just about some business, investment capital or a grant or a paper or an award. It's about making a difference. That's it.
Doing it now.